This is the perfect tuna melt for a few reasons. One, it doesn't contain tuna. It's mushroom, lion's mane specifically. Now, before you say, well, then it's a mushroom melt. It tastes like tuna, not mushroom. And if I called it a mushroom melt, you would expect it to taste like mushrooms, not tuna. So it's not tuna. I get that, but it tastes like it. So there are a few reasons this is the perfect tuna melt. And a lot of those I learned from my buddy Steve from Not Another Cooking Show. I simply adapted his recipe to make this and I'm so glad I did because, whoa, I mean, this is really good. So let's get rolling. First, let's prep our mushroom. Lion's mane mushroom is perfect for this recipe as it already has a seafood-like taste. Mostly it mimics shellfish, but it's still going to work here. Now that's not according to me, that's according to the Mushroom Council and everyone else on the internet that's ever tried this. This mushroom. We're just going to quickly pull this into tiny shreds. This took about five minutes max to do this. They pull apart really easy. Now I'm going to toss them into a bowl, shred some nori just with a knife, just chop it up. You can use a sheet of nori like I did or use nori flakes or even some kelp or dulse granules. Those are going to work really well. We just need to up that seafood flavor. Tuna is fairly fishy. Now we're going to add a bit of salt, a little olive oil, mix it up, and let's get a pan ready over a medium high heat with a touch more oil. We're just looking to brown these and remove some moisture. And since they're shredded, it's going to brown and that moisture is going to go fairly quick. I'm just going to toss these in. You can hear them sizzle like right away. Toss them around a little bit for a few minutes and then pull them off the heat and back into the bowl to cool down. Now, just like Steve's recipe, I'm going to prep some veggies. We're just going to finally chop some carrots, which I just matchsticked up, then chopped celery. We're going to do the same thing and some red onion. Now, in addition to that, I wanted to bring in a little bit more familiar flavor and I'm going to add a bit of chopped fresh dill. So our veg is prepped. I'm going to bring back the mushroom mixture and we're going to add a little veg at a time. Make sure you do this so that way you get the proportions that you like. I like it to be pretty veg heavy, but you might want a little bit less and it's, it's just up to you. Now, once I feel good about it, I'm gonna add a little bit of lemon zest and a squeeze of a bit of lemon. This looks perfect. So I'm just gonna add a bit of vegan mayo, maybe two tablespoons total, mix it in, and I'm just gonna transfer this into a small container because my fridge doesn't have a whole lot of space. It's pretty packed right now. I'm gonna close the lid, toss this in the fridge for about 20 minutes to chill, which is all it needs, and it's plenty of time for today's sponsor. So I love to learn new things, and one thing that I have never mastered is a second language. I took German all through high school, and the best that I can do is count to 10. And I've lived in Florida now for almost 20 years, and there is a lot of Spanish speakers that I would love to communicate easier with. So that's why I checked out Babbel. Babbel is one of the top language learning apps in the world. It is scientifically proven to help you start speaking a new language within three weeks. I mean, check this out. Mi amo. Mark. Gracias. Donde esta el baño? I can't wait to take Monica out for a fun dinner one night, order in Spanish, and just see the look on her face. I've been doing this for a little bit now, and I'm close. I'm almost there. I'm going slow. We took a trip to Mexico last year, and it would have been really nice to know Spanish. I, I would have been a heck of a lot more comfortable. And now I'm actually excited to go back. Babbel teaches real-world conversations. Their lessons teach you to have practical conversations about business, travel, relationships, and more. Babbel has a few different subscriptions to choose from, including a lifetime subscription, and they offer a 20-day money-back guarantee. So gang, start learning a new language. Click the link in the description below to get 60% off your subscription to Babbel. That's huge. Babbel, gracias. Thank you for sponsoring today's video and providing such a cool app for learning. I just love it. Okay, we're back. So for our bread, I wanted to use regular off-the-shelf white bread. It just seems to work the best and gives you the most familiar flavor. It's perfect for a tuna melt, but I also wanted to elevate it a bit, so I just went with the thick-cut bread. Now, instead of putting the sandwich together and melting it on the pan, which I probably would have done in the past, I wanted to do this in stages like Steve did. That way you have the crunch from the bread, the warmth from the cheese, and the cold from the mushroom tuna salad. It kind of just all works together. So I lightly spread some vegan mayo out across both sides of the bread, added a pinch of salt, got our pan nice and hot. I tossed the bread in the pan, toasted the first side, which came out perfect. I just wanted the inside to be lightly toasted, turned it over, and I tossed on three slices of the new Daya vegan cheese, which melts pretty good. I, I like these. And three slices might have been a little much, but honestly, the thickness of the cheese is what I was going for. I added a bit of water around the slice of the bread that had the cheese on it just to steam it a bit, and I covered it up to melt. While it was melting, I wanted to add a few thin slices of tomato. I love the tomato taste with the melted cheese, I think it's perfect, especially if the tomato is a bit warm. So right before the cheese was done, I added the tomato, covered it up, and let it cook with the cheese for just a few moments. Now this is all done, I removed the top slice, it was perfectly toasted, and I tossed it on a wire rack so that way it could stay crispy. I then pulled the melted cheese slice, which was going to be the bottom. This looks perfect, so let's put our sandwich together. I'm just going to add the mushroom tuna mix right on top of the tomatoes, and voila! This is it! This looks perfect! I know it's going to be good because honestly I've made this before, but this is Monica's first I'm having it, so let's see what Monica has to say. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Mm. 
Mm. Mm. Mm. Mm. This is really good. Yeah, okay. It is messier than I expected it to be. Mm -hmm. I knew it was gonna be messy, but way messier than I expected it to be. Mm. But. Yeah, oh, I love this. I love anything that you do with, with mushrooms. And mm. but, but this flavor, it tastes like a tuna melt. It tastes like, it's yeah. so refreshing too. Yeah. It's a really good. It's a good sandwich. Yeah. I mean, it's just good. The cheese, the crunch, the texture. Mm -hmm. the, it is refreshing, like you said. Yeah, the sauce. Tuna flavor and even the texture. It's like a nice, like, mm -hmm. like kind of like you bite into it. Like, um, you know, it's just got kind of like a bite to it, but it's soft and chewy when you get mm -hmm. it in your mouth, you know, and, and, um, and it works really well with the flavoring and the sauce. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's really, really good. Mm -hmm. I mean, this was an easy one. I mean, it's just like, it yeah. didn't take that long to throw together. What were some flavors you put in there? Mm. I mean, is it's just any? nori, onion, carrot, celery, a little okay. bit of lemon. Yeah, that's what I was tasting. I was wondering if there was any dill or no. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. I put the tiniest bit of dill yeah, in there. Yeah, I can taste it, but it's good. It's not like, it's it's subtle, yeah. but it like makes it. Yeah, it know? really, I mean, it, it takes it over the edge. Yeah, <laughs> mm. good, I love it. Yeah. I'm glad you made this. Yeah. I'm glad I bought this lion's mane. Yeah, it was good. <laughs> Any other thoughts? How much was the lion's mane? Do you remember? It was $9.99. Yeah, and we only used half the package. Oh, that's so. great. That's about yeah. the same cost of a can of tuna, maybe an expensive can of tuna. <laughs> yeah, like a really expensive one, but you know, yeah. this made a lot. For mm -hmm. just half of it. I thought you used the whole thing. No, these are big sandwiches. Mm -hmm. No, that was only half of the lion's mane that we had. Okay. No, it's perfect then. Yeah, where do you go? That's That was a mid between lunch and dinner. Nice snack. 